What up? It's Jimmy from Odds.com. This is a clip from our big NCAA football kickoff show this morning, Saturday, November 28th, starring DJ Big Boss and John Ryan. Let's move on to LSU at number five, Texas A&M. LSU 3 and 3 in the SEC, Texas A&M 5 and 1 in the SEC, College Station Texas 59 Fahrenheit and rain. We have Texas A&M opening up as 12 and a half point favorites that's balloon to 15 and a half even 16 in some books. The total's gone from 62 and a half down to 61 and a half. LSU coming off a 27-24 win at Arkansas. Texas A&M has won four straight and hasn't played now since the 7th of November. Another team dealing with COVID issues. That was a 48-3 beatdown of South Carolina. And now they've been off since the 7th of November. So we haven't seen them in <clears throat> 21 days. Will there be rust? John Ryan, take it away. Texas A&M at home to LSU. Uh, being ranked number five, you wouldn't think so uh, at all. And, uh, you know, the last two times these teams met in College Station was that epic seven overtime battle of 74-72 A&M beat LSU. Uh, there will be 25,000 fans inside the stadium tonight. Uh, and that certainly is going to help uh, A&M here. I, I just have a hard time. I wish the line wouldn't have moved, of course. If early in the week, um, A&M, as I said on Monday, um, was certainly a lean, if if not a bet to make. I just didn't see this kind kind of line movement happening. So uh, I'm not real comfortable laying the uh, laying the wood, DJ. I said it finally. It took an hour and a half. <laughs> uh, you know, I was doing my best too. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I like I like A and M here to roll, but I just can't put my money behind it. Boss, anything for you here? LSU, Texas A and M. Hey, I'm adding, I'm adding this one to my bag of tricks today, and I'm going to go with uh, the bloodthirsty Texas A&M after sitting on the sideline watching everybody play for so long. They play an LSU team who um, they came out of the shadows of some doubt uh, this season a little bit, and they got a couple wins. But this team, Texas a and is going to bring the defense uh, the, over there. They got a lot of young talent over there that could be exploited with the type of defense that Texas a and can play. And this is the same Texas a and team that actually beat Florida, so they can put some points on the board as well. So I'm going to go uh, Texas a and I was highly uh, favored on Texas a and early in the season. Um, they're hanging in there by the threads of COVID right now, so um, – I'm gonna stick with them right here, and and that's a short line. It, it probably sh it, it's actually very tricky at a 14 and a half, which is really they kind of telling you that they it should be 17, which uh, overall I think I they may be able to beat them by 20. That's LSU. Coach, um, yeah. Coach Fisher has some powerful trends. I'll mention quickly: seven and zero after outrushing the previous opponent by 150 or more yards in the last game played. Nine and one after gaining 175. I'm sorry, after gaining 475 in total yards in their previous game, 7-0 uh, and versus teams that um, time of possession is 32 minutes or more on average, which is LSU, and Fisher's 7-0 and against those teams. You know, it, it all, you know everything's pointing towards A&M, but, you know, 14.5 just seems a little rich.